Hey everybody, this is Jared from Brickhouse Media. I want to teach you a great thing about how to add Facebook Messenger chat box to any business website. So this is Zen Hustlers. This is one of the projects we're building out. And see right over there on the right side, there's that little lightning icon. That is actually Facebook Messenger that we've added to this website to allow people to chat you in real time connected to Facebook. So this is a great way to integrate your social media directly into your website and, and add the value of a chat box to allow people to feel like they can engage with you immediately, engage through Facebook and live in person if you can get back to them in the moment through Facebook Messenger. So here's how to do it. There's only two things you're gonna need in advance, administrative access to your Facebook page and website code access for your website. So you're gonna to have to add code onto your website once we complete this. So go over to your Facebook page, click settings in the top right, then go over to Messenger and click Messenger Platform. So if you've never used this area, there's a great area you can create auto responders in here. So we're gonna go down to Customer Chat Plugin and click Setup. Add Messenger to your website. So here it is, it's so simple. So there's your custom greeting. I would recommend you put it in your language for your brand. We use, hey, how are you doing? Thanks for reaching out. And then how can we help? It's important that you customize it for your brand and make it feel very personal and friendly and human. So click save and in the lower right, click next. So Facebook averages how quickly you get back to people. So typically we're within an hour and then you can color code brand it. So it feels branded on the website. The little lightning bolt chat box is gonna have a colored circle around it. That's the only branding there really is. So color code it if you know the color code or pick one and there is your code. So you're gonna put in your website and you're gonna type in the .com or .co or whatever your website is and click save. From here, you're gonna go over to the code and copy it to the clipboard. Now you can send it to your webmaster or you can put it on the website directly. So on Squarespace, it's very easy. So we're gonna to go to settings on Squarespace, scroll down to advanced under website, and then code injection. And you literally paste it into the header coder right there, and then you hit save. After, I want you to go back to Facebook and then check the box that says I've added the code to the website and click finish. It thanks you for setting it up and then you know it's active on your site. So the other thing you're going to want to do is set up automatic autoresponders. And I typically like to hard refresh, so you hold shift and refresh. And then you check your website to see if it's there. So you come back to your website, click hold shift and click refresh. And that's a hard refresh, that resets the code. As we come back to the website now, you can see the chat box in the lower right. It always is in the lower right corner and it says our custom message and you can see it right there. So you click chat now. It's gonna obviously ask you to log in, so that's me. If you do not have a Facebook account, this will not work, just to be clear. You do need to have a Facebook account for this to work. So some people may get frustrated if they don't have a Facebook account. You type in your message and you click send, the little right arrow. Now that is my autoresponder that just popped up. Thank you for taking the first step. So you set that up also in settings, Facebook Messenger platform to set up those autoresponder text. It's really important that you thank people for coming in. It is automated, so make sure it's generic that applies to almost anyone. And you have this message that feels welcoming and friendly. I like to direct people back to somewhere else, either website or social media, but as you can see here, it mentions the website. So we're already on the website because Facebook Messenger only works to direct people to one place. So if they message us from inside Facebook Message and the page, we wanna bring them to the website. So you may wanna tweak your messaging so it's the, has the right tone and feeling for people when they come and use Messenger. It's a great way to engage with people. It's a great way to add chat in your website and I hope you can try it today. Let us know your results and I'm really anxious to hear from you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. It's Jared, J-A-R-E-D at bhmedia.co and we're here to empower entrepreneurs, innovators, and bold emerging thought leaders with multimedia tools that help you grow for profitability, scale, and ROI leveraging media. Take care. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying.